Hello there. In this next video, um, I'm using a new camera, the Insta360 One X2. And uh, you'll notice a few odd effects, uh, distortion and some other artifacts in the uh, images. This is because I thought it'd be a great idea to get some uh, lens protectors for this thing. Because, you know, you don't want to bang up your new camera. So, um, that unfortunately has uh, introduced some uh, side effects. So, that's why you're seeing those. If you have any uh, good advice on how to better use the Insta360 as I'm learning how to use this camera, pass it along in the comments. And I hope you enjoy the following video. Good morning. Hi. Hey. Who are you? Levi. What are you doing in my car? Doing soda. <laughs> in the car? <laughs> yes, and we have <laughs> W6RWS here. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> so, Very good morning. Yep, we're going to head out to uh, Griff. Uh, <laughs> Cut. <laughs> What the heck is the name of this place? Combs. Combs. He had to look at his phone, by the way. <laughs> anyway, we're going to hit the road. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. <laughs> I'm with W6RWS, Can 6 UIB over there, and Soda Dog. Ray, you ready to go? Let's go. <laughs> We're at the Riverside County line on the PCT. So, heading up to uh, Combs Peak. I've been wanting to say Griffith the whole time, but uh, anyway. PCT for probably about a mile and a half, maybe a mile and three quarters, and then a used trail to the top. Um, it's pretty short. And yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Hopefully, we can get some drone footage today from the top. You might notice. A little bit different look to the uh, video today. I'm trying out the Insta360. It's a pretty cool concept. And uh, we'll see how it, how it uh, does on these adventure videos. It, does some, it has some really neat features to it, so maybe we'll get some better videos. Fire like a hundred miles, but that's not too bad because a lot of people had to miss yeah. even huge, bigger chunks of land. Right. Um, so I guess I got pretty lucky. Yeah. When and where did you start from? Um, well, I'm actually a flip flopper, so I actually started in Oregon, like Cascade Locks, because when I started on July 7th, there was still five feet of snow at Hearts Pass. So uh, I decided to skip that for the second. So started at Cascade Locks, went basically did all of Oregon. Fire started. I was like, well, I got to flip and do Washington anyway. So I went to Medford, flew to Seattle, made my way by a bunch of buses to get to uh, Hearts Pass, went north, hit the terminal, did all Washington, then, um, you know, flew to California, took a train, um, went to Castella and hitchhiked to like Etna, and that's where I started because that's where like, like the burn section, like Andrew, whatever. And, mm -hmm. That I've been going south ever since in like California. Okay. So yeah. When did you start? What was uh, July seventh. Okay. All right. So yeah, like apparently cool. in like late June, like Washington got like a bunch of snow. It screwed up like a bunch of south boundaries, like plans. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, because that snow started like Ashland went north and then flew back just to go back south. 
So like Southbound was really weird because we're just like all over the place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but actually like finally like caught up with a couple like there's like a I don't know how far there might be a couple hours behind me but there's like a group of like four and maybe one other guy and then there's plenty ahead of me so I don't know we're all kind of like finally gathering near the finish cool cool but yeah where are you originally from oh Michigan Michigan okay so yeah like awesome. really enjoying all these mountains and hills pretty pretty flat in the mid uh midwest yeah yeah definitely I think the highest point in Michigan is like a thousand feet in the Porcupine Mountains I think it's <laughs> like the highest elevation we got Go crazy. What's your What's your name? Uh, real name is Travis. Uh, trail name is Couch Locked. Couch Locked. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm Ham Ninja. That'll be my trail name. Oh, awesome, man. We'll have a Have a good day. Have yeah, fun. Yeah. Rest your hike. Maybe we'll run into your pals on the the way up oh, yeah. here. If you do, uh, Thomas said hey. All right, man. <laughs> you guys, take it easy. Right, take it you. easy. Yeah, there you go. So this is something I didn't know. Where a lot of guys will start from the north and head south. I never thought about it that way. There are also people that do the PCT in sections. So they'll do a section this year, a section next year, and you know, they'll they'll break it up just because they want to do the whole PCT. But you know, they can't take three months off from work to or more to, to get it done. I can't remember how long it takes to get done. In the spring, I see a lot of people heading north, just big groups actually heading north from all over the world. Uh, a lot of younger people from Europe come out here to just spend three months hiking the PCT. Meet all kinds of, make all kinds of new friends and kind of a get out of civilization. And you just, the only thing you need to do is get up in the morning, pack up and hike. How's it going back there, Levi? Yeah? Where are you guys from? Australia. Australia. Okay, cool. Having fun so far? Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's getting a bit smelly in this heat, though. <laughs> hey, you know, in the snow, so that, that's cool. part of the fun, yeah, right? Yeah. See, uh, see how bad you can get before you just can't take it anymore. <laughs> Not long to go. Yeah. Yeah. You cool. For a couple of days, or? We're just going up to a mountain right here. This high point. Uh -huh. We got ham radios. Um, go up there and goof around with our ham radio see how far we can go it's kind of our hobby so we can we can get into europe and australia new zealand yep. yeah. yeah no problem all right what are your trail names we'll just I'm do that green. if you don't I'm dusty green. green all right well dusty is uh yeah well well, well named. <laughs> all right see you guys have fun have there you go all right ray off we go. Okay, we're now into the East Trail part of the um, trip. So it's a matter of keeping your eyes open and trying to find the trail. Got Ray up ahead wondering what the heck we're down here. Like, why aren't you guys moving? She's got four paw drive. We were talking here with each other about, hey, if our phones quit working, we drop them, run out of batteries, whatever, how do we get back to the car? And so we think about that on the way up the mountain. It's like, oh, okay, I know I can get back here from the top or wherever. And then from here to the car, I need to get to this next major waypoint, which is that hill over there. So it's like 086 degrees looking at my compass. And because I'll be down in the trees, I won't be able to see that, but it'll keep me going in a straight line, more or less. Um, days like this, a little bit easier to go in a straight line, but on an overcast day, it's, uh, yeah, you have no idea which way is north, etc. So it's always handy to just kind of check yourself. How do I get back? How do, what, I need to go get help. If you're with other people, it's always good to kind of pay attention to where you're kind of taking care of yourself because your team may need you. So... Yeah, that's why it's always good to have a compass, even though we don't use them much. I've got one on my watch and the phone, obviously, but that stuff breaks, runs out of batteries. Compass doesn't have any batteries. All right. There. So what do you think? 
November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. QSL, QSL, I got you at a 5-5, five, five, buddy, 5-5. Five, five. How's it going over there? Roger, the 5-5. Five, five. Good, good. A good hike. Uh, knocked off the top lift. Coming up. <laughs> it's been a while, man. Hey. Yeah, Roger, Roger. We're over here on Combs Peak. Not too far from you, but uh, good to hear you, Kev, after so long. Yeah, it's been a while, so I uh, appreciate it. Thanks for calling me up. And, uh, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff going on, man, so <laughs> let's keep it up. All right, man, have fun out there. Uh, 73. <laughs> So we just finished our uh, activation here. Uh, how'd you do, Jacob? Yeah, one up in six contacts. One up in six contacts. Yeah, you were goofing out there. Totally goofing out. Yeah. Um, but you, you did get November Tango 6 Echo John, who is a huge chaser from the LA area. And it was super awesome to get you, John. You got him as well. And uh, let's see, I got 20. Summit. Yeah, and he was summoned to summit. That was a really big thing. Is I wanted to really wanted to get John. I couldn't get him HF. They were in a high noise environment. But anyway, that worked out well. I forgot the batteries for the drone at the car. So people are not happy with me, to say the least. But anyway, I got 23 contacts and five of those summit to summits. So that was cool. Levi, how'd you do? An insane whopping four contacts. Well, but the it best is. part was one of those was on Oh, hey, yeah, he got his first 10 meter technician class uh, um, contact today. So that is super awesome. And actually, that was my first soda 10 meter as well. So I was pretty stoked about that. So a bunch of firsts up here and a beautiful day uh, hiking. It's a bit windy, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So we're going to head on down the hill and uh, see if we can't get some drone shots down there. So let's get cracking. Alright, we're out here in the wild on the PCT. And we snuck up behind KN6 UIB in the wild. Out here hiking, getting it done. Taking six points home. Gotta love it. Okay, it's mail call. Um, I've been holding on to quite a few cards. I was going to do a special episode, and I still am, on the QSL Bureau that we have in the U.S. and around the world. It's a way for hams to send other hams um, QSL cards at a little bit lower cost uh, because they're done in batches. Unfortunately, when you do that, uh, things get held up for maybe a year or even more. I received a whole bunch from the U.S. Bureau, and um, it was 
it was a pile of cards and it was from the previous couple of years so it's kind of interesting but i do want to go through a few because i really enjoy getting uh, qsl cards and if you send me one i'll definitely send you one of these one of my qsl cards um so feel free to do that and uh, i also send them out not just the people that send me by the way so the first one up is w4 krn hey karen i really appreciate you uh uh, all the chasing that you've done it's been a lot of fun and um yeah this is great karen was using the ic 7610 on this particular activation um so that was back on oof let's see may so um this one's been kind of been with a bunch that i've been waiting to kind of do a mail call on karen i know you're going through some uh difficult times right now and I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. Um, the next one up is from Alpha Kilo 5 Sierra Delta. He's got a cool card. I kind of like this one. I think this is a picture that uh, Steve WG0AT took um, when they were out doing a soda summit. So <laughs> I liked it. I love it. Um, next one up is from Christian Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo November. If you do soda, you probably know this guy. He's one of the biggest chasers from France. So uh, I always, always enjoy getting a, uh, a QSO with uh, Christian. In fact, I got one with him today. You'll see that in the next video. And um, uh, yeah, so thanks, Christian. I appreciate it. And I know I sent you out one. Um, XE1 Alpha Yankee sent this one out. This is a pretty cool one. Um, and this is from my sar, uh, uh, Ishmael. So thanks for the QSL card. Next one up is uh, Juliet Hotel 4 Uniform Yankee Bravo, uh, Japan Station. Charlie Foxtrot 3 Alpha. Um, this is celebrating the liberation of the Netherlands, 75th anniversary. That's kind of a cool card. Uh, Papa Juliet 4 Kilo. This is a nice one from Bon Air. So I think this is in the batch uh, that was kind of waiting to be sent to me. Um, I probably contacted this person um, during the sideband contest, the worldwide sideband contest. So those are a lot of fun to just kind of play around in. And so, yeah, appreciate that. Alpha Echo 7 Golf Victor. Thank you. Um, Yankee Victor 5 Juliet Delta Pop. This is a nice card. Thank you very much. Uh, another one from uh, Juliet Oscar 3 Delta Delta Delta. Love the call sign. Let's see if I can get you the. So, hopefully you notice I have a little bit better camera mounted on the, uh, on the monitor now. So hopefully uh, you've noticed that Juliet Hotel One Mike X Ray Victor got a couple from uh, Hattori Hido. So thank you, appreciate that. Next one is Whiskey Six Papa Zulu Alpha. This is a cool card. Uh, Mountain Top Portable Summits on there. So he's got a little soda card as well. Uh, Kilo 6, uh, da, 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 da. Quebec Echo Kilo. So this is a cool one. He's out there with his uh, VHF Yagi, looks like. November 7, Charlie Whiskey. Nice Grand Canyon shot. Kilo 7, Golf Uniform Delta. Thank you. Uh, Kilo 2, Kilo, Juliet Delta. Awesome card. And it's got a green, so uh, it creates a hole in the card. Because I'm using a green screen. Uh, November 7, Kilo Oscar Mike. He's got a cool channel. Check out his YouTube videos. They're pretty darn awesome. And, uh, dude, some of, the, some of those videos, I'm like grabbing onto my chair. It's, those are some great ones. Juliet Papa 3, Delta Golf Tango slash 3. Um, nice little soda card there. Again, anything in the screen, it's going to look like it has a hole in it. Kilo 6, Mike Delta Golf. Nice card. Thank you. Uh, Whiskey 6 Delta Tango. Nice card uh, from Wayne in um, in Vista, California. And Whiskey Bravo 7 Victor Tango Yankee. That's a mouthful. But uh, thanks for the card, man. I appreciate it. And uh, Victor Alpha 6 FUN. I love the call sign and always enjoy getting a uh, QSO with you. I appreciate it. And last but not least, Victor Echo 7 Alpha Tango Juliet. And uh, they just keep coming in. 
And of course, it always helps if you send cards out, you get cards in. It's kind of like uh, what I tell my daughter, you send positive energy, you get positive energy back. So thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys. Um, when I'm out in the field or at home on the radio and then getting your card. It's a lot of fun. I, I really uh, enjoy this part of the hobby. Well, there you have it. The video wasn't too bad, but I'm definitely going to remove those lens protectors because um, there was a lot of really funky artifacts in there. We'll see how it goes for the next video. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to know more about the hobby, go to hamninja.com and hamninja.com slash SOTA360. I did a four-part series on activating. I did another one on um, chasing and a few other videos in there uh, if you want to check those out. So with that, we'll roll the credits.